Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training. Today what I want to do is make some videos which will help students of mine and other students of the Canadian Firearms Safety Course pass the practical exam. This is basically study material for those students. If you are an experienced firearms user, you might find this material far too basic. And if that's the case, feel free just to uh, go on to another video of mine or other videos. Now, uh, if you are planning on taking the firearm safety course, then I do recommend that if you've never touched a firearm before, if you have very limited knowledge, that you watch these demonstrations. Without further ado, let me get down to showing you how to clear different firearms for the practical test of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course. Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training and today we're going to continue on with our series of how to prove firearms safe to the standard required to pass the Canadian Firearms Safety Course. And we're moving into restricted firearms today. We're just going to do handguns for our restricted firearms. So if you enter into the practical exam and the instructor says to please identify and pick up the single action revolver, this is the revolver we're going to pick up. Now it could be a different revolver than this, but this is a typical single action revolver. This is a, an 1873 single action army, a Colt single action army, aka Peacemaker. When I pick this up, I'm going to bring it up relatively high to my eye level. I'm going to rest it on my left hand and I'm going to open this loading gate here. I'm going to cycle that cylinder. I can see six empty chambers. And then I'm going to examine the bore using my bore brush on a cleaning rod or a bore mop. I'm going to have this marked so I know how far down I have to go. And now I'm clear. The instructor at that point will probably ask you what ammunition that firearm is designed to discharge. On the side I can see that it takes 45 Colt. He will then probably ask you to load and chamber two rounds of the correct ammunition. At this point I would suggest you hold it nice and high in your left hand and you reach for some ammunition on the table and identify the ammunition. Now this happens to be snap caps but you will get probably some ammunition that looks a lot like a Colt. Load one chamber, skip one chamber, and then load four more. And then close the loading gate. At that point, he'll probably ask you to demonstrate a one-handed shooting stance. You could do any number of stances. What I'm going to demonstrate here is the bullseye stance. So I'm going to turn to the side. I'm going to push the firearm out to my right and I'm going to take up a sight picture. I'm going to anchor this hand somewhere on my body so that it uh, stays stable. After he's satisfied you've done the correct stance, he'll say cease fire. You'll turn back in facing down range open the loading gate and start ejecting cartridges. After I ejected all of the cartridges, I rotated the cylinder until I can see all six chambers are empty. At that point, I will then, again, examine my bore with my cleaning rod. Since it's a ceasefire, I'll then put my firearm down or on the counter in front of me, and I will step back behind the ceasefire line. 